for those of you who don't understand what's going on here, my friend Keith Decent has been making rugs with the one of those like rug making guns out of uh, melted popsicles. And I just, I loved the specificity of it and I wanted to get involved. And so we came up with this idea of doing like a melted guitar. Of course, since it's a rug, I started thinking about flooring and all that stuff, which is, you know, the rest makes sense now, right? So uh, I just got this in today. We were doing this based on computer drawings and I sent him some sketches. And the one thing I just realized now as it came in is that I had originally sent him a sketch for like a, anticipating I'd put like a hardtail bridge on. Um, but I ended up going with this tunematic style instead because I know I could get it up higher and I would have to clear this rug. So the first problem I'm seeing is that we're gonna have a little bit of, of wood showing there, but since we're doing this, you know, from a distance, Keith made this a little extra big so I can trim it to fit. And I think I should probably be able to trim a piece of this carpet and stick it in here. Of course it won't be pink, but it'll at least fill it in and maybe I'll, be able to do something to make that look cool. I don't know yet, uh, let's figure it out. <laughs> this is so, so sticky. right through. <laughs> I was sharing in real time on Instagram, working on this, and this guy who lives about an hour and a half away couldn't stand it. He had to come help. I had to. All right, let's do it. I couldn't watch you mess this thing up. <laughs> I know. Um, like I liked, like yeah. when I was holding and playing it, it was really nice having that. Oh, plush, I bet. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like nice and, um, nice and soft. And uh, so I definitely wanted to leave that. And then I did it here too, just mm -hmm. for consistency on the top. Then yeah. I, figured, I, I was kind of thinking like the bottom melted, so that's why there's no carpet on the bottom. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, the, the top surfaces that didn't melt. Yeah, I just wanted to leave you enough of the stuff to oh, yeah, no, decide was, what you were going to do. <laughs> yeah, no, it was perfect. And then the, um, like I said, these little, I knew I was pushing it with how small these drips were, but I think these yeah, drips are going to look okay. Just do a little, like, you know, yeah. once you trim a little bit here. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good on camera, really. All I can see is like... Well, yeah, when you're doing, you're just gonna see everything that's wrong with it. Yeah, because I'm like hyper-focused on this now. Yeah. Some people are amazing at it, some people are okay, but it's a really forgiving process, which is nice. Yeah. Like you can screw it up and then later on just kind of fix it up a little bit. But because it's so fuzzy, if you make it wrong, you just don't cut it down as short. Yeah. Now I'll do repeated shots too, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get the electronics in Oh no, I'm gonna plug it in right now.
carpet making and tufting are very in right now and my friend Keith Decent is one of the best at it. So we went back and forth and came up with this melted flying V guitar. Uh, and we were thinking about some different, like doing, you know, a Zach Wilde or something like that. And uh, we came up with, or Keith rather, came up with this David Bowie tribute idea, which I think is beautiful. And uh, I built the entire guitar out of layers upon layers of reclaimed flooring um, with the center core being vintage you know, hardwood floor, because anybody that's ever owned a house more than 50 years old knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, and I, I'm really happy with the guitar. It plays great. It's a little heavy, of course, but it plays better than expected. It looks better than expected. Um, it just, it's just been a blast to do this. And now another thing that, um, coincidentally around the same time we were planning this guitar, Dusty Hills, the bass player from ZZ Top passed away and, uh, they famously played those fluffy guitars and no, this is not a tribute to them. Uh, or inspired by them in any way. It was just a sad coincidence. Uh, of course, we are all ZZ Top fans and we'll miss that amazing bass player. But regardless, this is just its own thing. And it's just sad timing on that point. All right, so please go check out Keith's work. I think you're going to really dig it. Uh, the popsicles are amazing. And uh, thank you very much, Keith, for helping with this project. Also, there's a video about Keith's part of this project over on his YouTube channel. Um, but his Instagram is really where it's at, too. All right, thanks a lot and be good. Thank <laughs> you.